I'm weather impact meteorologist Melissa North here at 11 Alive and we are issuing an 11 Alive weather impact alert for Thursday, 4th of July, 1 to 7 in the afternoon and evening. We are going to have high heat and humidity outside. That's going to push a lot of that heat illness potential into a lot more uh, likely category. If you're over outside exerting yourself and you're not realizing that you're getting overheated very quickly. So what you need to do to plan for your 4th of July is make sure you are drinking plenty of fluids tomorrow. That includes a lot lot of water, non alcoholic hydrations, and also if you're outside, take break, step into the AC, step in front of the fans. You don't want to overexert yourself too easily. And tomorrow now we have our entire metro area here in a heat advisory. That's in this kind of orange tan color, peach color on the map here. This is going to run tomorrow afternoon and evening from one o'clock in the afternoon all the way through about seven o'clock in the evening tomorrow. You notice it's not just us here in Georgia, but a lot of heat throughout the southeast. There are millions of people in these heat alerts, heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, and tomorrow that's when our heat gets into that dangerous territory again. So that's why we've issued this weather impact alert for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Let me give you a snapshot of those feels like temperatures tomorrow afternoon and evening. We caught a nice break from the really high heat and humidity yesterday. Today it's on its way back up, but it's tomorrow the day that you really need to pay attention to. It's a holiday. A lot of us are outside. We're going to have the feels like temperatures around 105 for much of the afternoon for many counties in the metro. So triple digit feels like temperatures. And as we get into tomorrow evening, we should see those staying in the triple digit territory all the way until close to sunset. Outside right now, you see mostly cloudy skies outside over Atlanta, over the city of Atlanta, it's our airport in the background. We've got the cloud cover. It's 85, but it feels like 91 because that humidity much more noticeable than where it was yesterday. Currently 86 in Marietta. Duluth is 87. It's 86 there in Peachtree City and 85 degrees right now in Athens. This afternoon, the rest of the day, there is a 20% chance of a shower or storm. Many of us do not get that shower or storm, but we feel the heat and humidity. And that heat and humidity is the trend all the way through the long holiday weekend. So temperatures today topping out low 90s, so close to average as we head into the overnight high humidity sticking around tomorrow morning for kicking off the AGC Peachtree Road Race. We're going to be in the mid 70s. Let me show you the forecast 76 as they do the national anthem and they start the Peachtree Road Race and then 9 o'clock 81 degrees. At that point, it's already going to feel like it's in the mid 80s outside by 11 o'clock as the final runners are wrapping up. It'll feel like it's well into the 90s. 87 will be that actual temperature. So we are watching to see where they end up putting the alert system and this is is a way for them to caution runners about what the weather conditions are going to play on your body as you're outside. I wouldn't be surprised if we start in that code red, meaning the dangerous territory forecast track for the feels like temperatures tomorrow morning, mid 70s at six o'clock in the morning. By 830, we're on our way up into the 80s. By 10 o'clock, 92 will be the feels like temperature in Atlanta. As we get towards 11 o'clock, we're in the mid 90s and then those triple digit feels like temperatures for the rest of our 4th of July. You notice the 90s sticking around all the way through the weekend. It's going to be hot, humid each and every day. Every day through the holiday weekend, the feels like temperature will be close to 100 degrees. But as we get into kind of the Friday time frame, we do expect a little more favorable setup for some showers and storms, which could cool some of us down. Here's the forecast track this afternoon. Very few showers and storms on the map. Overnight tonight, we'll have a dry start for the AJC Peachtree Road Race tomorrow morning. As we get into your lunch hour, sparking into the 90s and here we go some isolated showers and storms again tomorrow but by friday that brings a little better chance of showers and storms we'll go with the rain chance around 40 to 50 percent by friday afternoon hey we really need some rainfall not everybody's going to get a good soaking rain over the course of the weekend but any amount of rain we can get is a great thing the drought monitor which was just released at eight o'clock this morning shows we now have severe drought which is pushed into parts of metro atlanta that includes parts of cobb fulton County out into Douglas County, Western Paulding County and the rest of the metro area. Pretty much everybody is now in drought conditions that drought rapidly developed over the month of June and early July with how hot and dry things were outside. We're also keeping on hurricane barrel, which remains a category four hurricane. This storm going to make its way over the Yucatan Peninsula and something we'll be watching here as we look at the forecast for the Gulf of Mexico by the end of the weekend.